look here, I've been missing in action for a little while. But you'll notice that since I've been missing in action, look like me all I get an afro, gone back to the 70s. <laughs> well, and by the way, don't pay attention to that clock on the wall. That clock stop. It is almost 11.30 and I'm doing my housework and I'm holding on to a broom. Yes, I'm a sweeping disaster. You remember, we did catch me a sweep of mango leaf, aki leaf, all kind of leaf and now me a sweep of house. You see me, I don't like to lock up, lock up. So my house kind of have louver windows and they're always open. So when it is windy and it's very dry and you can hear the breeze of blow outside, you know, it blow in the leaf and the dust. And I have animals, I have a cat and a dog and them run from outside and them come inside and all of that. So I have to grab my broom and sweep up. But what has been happening since I last see you? Honodo. do. Eh? I know that many of you look forward to these little chronicles, and so do I. I look forward to giving them to you too, but I have something to say to you, and um, I have to come closer to it. You see, between Wednesday night and Thursday morning, I never feel so good. Mm -mm. Thursday morning when I get up, I could hardly swallow. Never mm. feel good at all. Now, I'm an asthmatic. And I have bad sinusitis. And I've been taking my asthma medicine, you know, the pump. Sometimes it hit the back of your throat and it leaves you a little horse or husky. The, the spray from the pump, the puff from the pump, not the pump itself. But when I, I said to myself, what is this? I'm using my medication. What is this? You know, if you tell which part my mind go. It never got 20. And it never got 18. I said, Papa, Jesus, this can't be the beginnings of anything. Because I play back in my head now how careful I have been, how I wash, wash my hand, how I wear my mask, how I try to keep my distance. So I said, no, will I take to my bed the whole day Thursday? Because I never feel good. I feel sick, but mm. well, Decided to call the ENT, ear, nose, and throat specialist, and see if I could make an appointment. Well, initially I thought there was none, but I had decided to sleep. And you know, when you hear the phone ringing, but you can't even answer the way and I feel good. So when I eventually wake up, I see that I have two missed calls from his office, and I call back and then give me an appointment for yesterday now, which is Friday. Well, I'd use some home remedy. I'd use some warm salt water and I'd gargle the back of my throat and I'd go back in the bed and I'd take two of the panadol them and I'd go into the bed and I'd say to myself, Papa Jesus, what is this, please? Friday morning, I wake up and I say, wait, but I don't feel so bad after all. As a matter of fact, I said to myself, maybe we shouldn't bother go to the ENT. Anyway, seems as though then give me an appointment, me decide for go. No. Learn said ear, nose and throat specialists have to come close to you. Close to your nose and close to your mouth. So they are in jeopardy. Because I come close to patients. Hear me to myself. No, sir, suppose I sit and, and me go cause this man for anyway. Long of the short of it. As I have been wanting to do for the last few days, almost a week now put on my specially made mask. And me go, of course, him have on for him, me have on for me, and we talk. You see, when time come for him, now for look now, back at me, I throw it. <laughs> Hear me to him. When I open my mouth, I go and hold my breath. <laughs> no one blow it for them. So I open my mouth, and I won't do it right here, stick up my tongue and hold my breath. And then, with alacrity and precision, looks to the back of my throat and thing. I saw the things that we got through. Me laughing about how serious something this COVID-19 thing. Uh, by the way, when I look at the clock on the wall, I say the clock on the wall is not working. Don't worry yourself about it. It is not working, all right? But here I am, just a touch base, we don't know. Hoping all right. Let me know when I post this, how I'm doing. Remember, stay safe. As we say in Jamaica, keep your distance. Wash your hand them properly. Yes, and if you can at all, steer your yard on about a goat, especially if you're not my age group and older, turn your yard. This is another Faye Ellington COVID-19 Chronicles. Let's keep each other company. Walk good till next time.